What up, gang? It's your girl, The Lab Girl, and I'm back with another video. Today's video is going to be what to expect when taking the ASCP. If you guys think that this is a beneficial video and you guys are prepping for the ASCP and you want to know some things not to do when prepping for the ASCP and some things to expect when taking the ASCP, then this is the right video for you. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into the video on what to expect when taking the ASCP and do not forget to join the game. All right, let's get to tip number one. The first thing you should expect is 100 questions and two hours to take the ASCP. Instead of giving you pen and paper or pencil and paper, you will be supplied with a dry erase board so that way you never can run out of room, things to write because you can just erase it and continue to use it throughout the whole testing time. Now, we don't know if this is a myth or not, but whenever you are taking a test, the myth or the assumption is if you're doing a great job and you're getting most of the answers correct, the test gets harder. So if your test is getting harder and you're actually passing them, then the questions should get harder, you know, as you get further along in the test. We don't know, we can confirm or deny that, but even in school, my teachers and my professors said, if you see your questions getting harder, then you're doing a great job. I think sometimes it's a little tricky because if you are, if you're knowing all the answers, you probably think like, dang, I'm failing. That's a good thing if you know the answer. So it's, it's one of those things to where we're still trying to figure out if that's the myth or if that's the truth. If your questions continue to get harder throughout the test, then that means you're passing. So that's another great tip or something to know whenever you're preparing to take the ASCP. Okay, so the next thing to expect when taking the ASCP is to prepare to have some IHC questions on your exam. Even if you're taking the HT, I had a few um, IHC questions on my exam and I know another, a lot of other people who taken the ASCP, who taken the HT, also has some IHC questions on their exam as well. So if you are studying the Frida Carson book, I would definitely tell you just to study the, um, the immunohistochemistry part, just to be on the safe side. But if you are prepping for the HTL, then I do know that there's more IHC questions on that, but don't be surprised if they throw in a little IHC here and there. Okay, and for my final tip on what to expect for the ASCP is changing your answers. The first time I took the ASCP, I changed probably 90% of my answers. Now, I did fail, not by a lot of points, but I'm thinking it was a mixture of me not being prepared to take the ASCP because I was feeling rushed. And that's only just on my part, no one rushed me, but I was probably feeling rushed. Uh, I wanted to help and get a job and I didn't take the proper time to study. So whenever I actually sat down in front of the test, I didn't feel like I knew anything. I couldn't um, remember most of anything that I had studied because I had rushed to study and I wasn't fully prepared. So with the mixture of that, whenever my whenever I got to the end of the questions, I still had time left over, which I think is a great thing. So I took that time and I went through the test again, but I found myself changing a lot of questions, changing a lot of answers. So I think that probably hurt me because I know I failed the test. The passing score, I think is like 400. And I think I had scored like maybe three, 370 or 360 something. I'm not really sure. But um, I think if I was just stuck with my gut feeling and prepared more and studied more in depth, then I probably would have passed it on the first time. But the second time I took my test, I did take... I took a longer time to study. I broke every chapter down like I show you guys um, here on my channel. I went chapter by chapter and I broke everything down to where I could understand each chapter and what was in each chapter and um, the troubleshooting of each chapter. And then once I sat down in front of the test again and I saw those questions, I may have had like a few questions from my first test, but honestly whenever i looked at that question i treated that question as if i knew the answer i did cross elimination and then once i got to the end i took my time to and i went right back through the test but this time 
I stuck with my answers. There was maybe like a few questions that um, I did change, but I did not change a lot because sometimes I feel like I can get in my head and the answer is probably correct. And I didn't want to go through that again and you know have the option or make the mistake of changing too many answers and then I bombed the test again. But the good thing what I teach here on the Lab Girl Circle is that you have five times to take the test. So if you don't pass on the first time, if you don't pass on the second time, then you have more times to take it and to get it right. So I decided to make this video because I wanted you guys to learn from my mistakes and know what not to do when you are prepping and taking the ASCP. So I hope these study tips um, really help you guys out. And if you have made the same mistakes that I made uh, whenever you took the ASCP, please feel free to leave those uh, comments down below and tell me what you did different uh, differently on the second go round or the third go round or even the fourth go round. Let me know what you did different and how did you prepare for the ASCP. Uh, that's it for this video again. If you like to be a part of the game, all you gotta do is hit that subscribe button and join the gang. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.